What is up you guys? It's me, Galen Larice, and welcome back to another dance tips video. And today, we're getting back to dancing. It's time to start dancing again. I have taken many breaks from dancing. I think it's pretty normal to reevaluate, you know, if that's how you want to be spending your time. Maybe you have to reevaluate your goals or maybe you're going through a life change and so sometimes you have to stop dancing. But if you're like me, it always brings you back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips for getting back into dance, whether if you are a student or a dance teacher. I feel like if you grew up dancing a lot, chances are you're also going to be teaching every now and then too and that's a skill that you have to kind of learn how to jump back in so I'm going to be touching on all of that in this video. If you have not already please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I make so many different dance tip videos like these and I feel like you guys would enjoy them if you go ahead and check them out on my channel. While you're there consider subscribing. I just hit 15,000 subscribers which is crazy because I remember how hard it was to hit 1,000. I am so so grateful to all of you guys and I want this platform to keep growing. I want my internet fam to keep growing. We love dance around here and I'd love to have you with me if you love dance too. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this video. When getting back into dance, the number one thing that I really found is so important is to Find your why, reevaluate what your why is right now when it comes to dance so that you can know what you're actually doing this for. I, in the past, have had seasons where I was just dancing because that's what I was always doing and it was in my schedule to keep going to class. I got to the point where I kind of forgot what my why was. And when you come back to dance from a break, reevaluating that why will help you kind of refocus so that you don't start sweating things that maybe don't even matter to you right now. Other reasons for your why can literally be something as simple as you need cardio. When I started taking breaks from dance, I realized, oh, hold up. I'm starting to look a little bit different and I love myself at every size, don't get me wrong, but I do feel a lot better when I am at a certain level when it comes to my stamina and just, you know, me not feeling crazy tired throughout the day. So dancing was also a way for me to get that cardio in and that was a big part of my why. If you are a dance teacher, this is also really important because chances are there's something that you wanna offer other people and understanding what your why is can help you really evaluate so that you're not comparing yourself to other dance teachers out there. Just like being a dancer is competitive, I'm sure there's a side also of the dance teachers that can become competitive as well. And if you understand what your why is and why you are there, it can help you make sure that you're still enjoying it while you're doing it. My second tip for jumping back into dance, whether if you're a dancer or a dance teacher, is to take classes that give full warm-ups that offer a stretching and a strengthening component. When you are jumping back into dance from a long time, there is a possibility that you could hurt yourself. You're not as in shape as you were before. Your muscles do lose strength over time because if you don't use it, you lose it. And so you want to kind of ease yourself back in and making sure that you have a proper warm up is a really great way to do that. Making sure that you have strength in that warm up also ensures that you're strengthening the muscles that you're going to be using when you dance so that you're not trying to whip out these dance moves with super, super weak muscles because we all all know that's the quickest way to injury. If you are a dance teacher, make sure that you're giving a warm up that has a stretch and strength component. It doesn't matter what kind of dance style you're teaching, everyone can benefit from strength and stretch. That is why I create my stretch and strength videos here on this channel, because I know that everybody can benefit from it. And if you are a teacher who is giving one of these warm ups, make sure you also do it with them. Don't be one of those teachers that just kind of like watches while they do it. I mean, sometimes, you know, you have other things going on or you need to tend to things and so you have to let them warm themselves up. But if you're just easing back into teaching, make sure you're doing the warm up with them. It also will help you kind of keep your energy in tune with the students who are in the room and it always makes me connect with them better when I'm doing the warm up with them. My third tip for getting you back into dance if you haven't danced in a while is to wear clothes that makes you feel comfortable. When I was younger, especially taking ballet, there were always dress codes for what kind of leotard you wore and what kind of colors you could wear. But chances are you're grown now. Most people who watch my channel are, you know, 
above the age of 18, which means you can wear whatever you want to class. And if you are jumping back into class, wearing something that makes you feel more comfortable, whether if it is something that is more form fitting and really shows off your body so that you feel more confident in your skin, or if it's something that's more baggy and more billowy and kind of gives you a little bit of wiggle room so that you don't feel as tense during class, will make you enjoy the class much more. And of course, if you're a dance teacher, the same thing goes for you. Also consider wearing things if you are a dance teacher that make you feel more empowered when you step into the room and also give the students an idea of who they're receiving when you walk in the room. I used to take classes with dance teachers who wore all black, right? When I was younger, especially in ballet classes, black turtleneck, black pants. And so that made us stand differently in class when we were in his presence. And I also take classes with people who wore really, really sexy outfits. And that also made us look at her a different way. And I think the way that you dress also gives people an idea of how they should treat you. And that doesn't mean that you have to dress to impress every single dance class, but be aware that people are watching you. And if people are taking your class, they're not just learning from the things that you're saying, they're also learning from the things that you're doing. I sometimes forget this. Sometimes I wear shirts that have holes in it and I have to remind myself, Galen, carry yourself better. If you're here to educate people, you wanna make sure that you look like you are here to educate people. And a lot of times I can just be dressing in a way that shows that. My fourth tip for getting back to dance if you've taken a long break is to find the lowest barrier to entry to taking dance class. That means finding the easiest way for you to be able to step into a dance class again. Maybe for you that means taking a dance class that is close to the place that you work so that you already know after you work you can go straight there. You know we have so many things that can get in the way of us taking class especially when we're trying to jump back into it because we already may be feeling a little bit self-conscious and so so making those things less in your way so that you can take class more frequently is going to make it more enjoyable for you. This can also mean packing your dance clothes so that when you're going to work, you have the clothes you need right there. Or it can mean something as simple as taking dance tutorials first online before you actually go to a dance class. Sometimes that being in the room with other people, again, can make you feel a little bit self-conscious. And so lowering that barrier to entry to you taking class and starting to see the results from it can make you want to show up more and tutorials are a very easy way to do that. My fifth tip for jumping back into dance if you've taken a break for a while is to start with something that's a level below where you usually are. I used to have a ballet teacher who would say the first class back was always the easiest because you surprise yourself with what you're able to do and secretly I know it's also because he used to make it a lot easier. Shout out to you Mr. Ivy. But having a class first that's a little bit easier than what you're used to will not only be easier on your body since you have been taking a break, but it's also easier on your self-confidence. We're there to get ourselves reintroduced to the idea of being in the studio again, being around other dancers, watching the dance teacher as they are executing their own choreography. And so sometimes starting with something a little bit easier than you're used to is nice for a little confidence boost. And this goes for dance teachers as well. Don't be crazy hard on your students the first day back. You have nothing to prove to anybody. It's just dance. It's just dance! Maybe changing your playlist, make it something that's fun and fresh and maybe some songs that you know your students might like, just so it gives them a reason to be excited about their first day back and you can get the best them out of them. When getting back into dance class, it's so important to build social relationships. And this is for dancers and dance teachers because it gives you a reason to want to come back. I recently took one of the first classes I've ever taken in Atlanta and there was a moment where the teacher gave us a moment just to walk around and talk to somebody new. And honestly, I'm pretty shy. It's not something I'm very good at, but doing that helped me to kind of meet people that when I go back to class, I'm looking forward to seeing. Those kind of things make people want to be around. And as a dance teacher, it's also your job to curate that environment. Get to know the people who are in your class beyond just how well they dance. Do they have siblings? What other things are going on if they're, you know, students? What kind of things are going on at school right now that they're really excited about that maybe their mind is drifting off and thinking about a little bit? 
these things will help you tap into your students and build that relationship that they want to come back even if you know it's spirit week at school or something like that my seventh tip for getting back into dance if you're a dancer or a dance teacher is a very tactical tip and that's simply to bring your water and your toe now i am a sweater i sweat profusely being all sweaty and sticky is like the easiest way for me to start feeling uncomfortable and self-conscious and we'll have time for that especially if something as simple like bringing a towel and water can avoid that bring your necessities if there are other things that make you feel more comfortable maybe some powder or spray deodorant i also keep deodorant in my bag that's something i always keep things like that will help it so that you don't feel so self-conscious about the other things that matter and you can just focus on enjoying the class and my eighth and final tip again is a very tactical tip and that is if you are looking to take dance classes try downloading the mind body app or looking for different dance studios on Instagram. I feel like it's a little bit easier now than it used to be on Instagram to find dance studios, but MindBody is also a great way to find different studios in your area, see which teachers teach more regularly, and kind of be aware of what's around you based on your zip code. It's a really easy app to use. A lot of studios actually use it to host how people sign up on class and so i always keep it on my phone and i'm pretty sure most dancers i know do too just because it's something that's used so often so if you haven't taken dance class in a while download the mind body app this is not sponsored and that is it you guys those are my tips for getting back into dance again i myself am getting back into teaching which i am so excited for if you live in the atlanta area look out for your girl i'm gonna be posting it in my community tab and also on my instagrams if you have not Follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that too. I don't post there a lot, I ain't gonna lie to you, but class will be posted there. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to your girl. And I will see you guys in my next video next weekend. Later. Stay solid one time.